finally chat gpt got officially integrated with microsoft outlook so if you use outlook and chat gpt every day this will completely change how you handle your emails chat gpt can now connect directly to your outlook account can read your email summarize conversations and help you reply instantly this is not a plugin this is built directly into your chat gpt and that too not from any random developer but from open ai so let me show you how it works for that here you can see i already have open chat gpt and let me click here on apps now here on apps when you click on productivity and if you scroll down here you're gonna get option of outlook email click on it and then click on connect now you need to click again on continue to outlook email and before actually we do let me talk about the permissions here so if you are okay to permit chat gpt to access your email then only you should permit else i think you know what to do but even i would say if you are giving open ai access to your outlook email we should definitely read out through so it says permission always respected chat gpt is strictly limited to permission you have explicitly set and you can always disable access anytime to revoke any permission and then it says that you are in control chat gpt always respect your training data preferences data from outlook email may be used to provide relevant and useful information and then of course one can learn more and then it also says connector may introduce risk like somebody may hack your account and can attempt to steal your data so i would say these risks are not new they are usual whenever you install any plugin even within inside outlook there is a risk all right so let me click here on continue to outlook email and now here i need to provide consent and then um, i'm gonna click on accept and now it says outlook email is now connected now let me click here on start chat so i'm gonna ask here the following which is show me my unread email from today from outlook now this will pull information from outlook All right, so here what is happening is we need to actually click here on plus and then we need to click on deep research and then we need to connect to our outlook email from here and then you can ask question for example fetch my emails and just like typical research it's going to ask further question could you clarify what you are looking for your email then here you can be more specific like you want to read a recent email only or you know there will be a bunch of questions being asked proactively by chat gpt and you need to you know respond to that and this is exactly what i did and it is right now reading my email and since uh, we cannot directly chat as of now so that's a bit downside i would say but i am expecting they will be coming up with better experience just like they have in case of gmail so let's wait till this is reading my email and we will get back once this done and there you go here we have got my top five email being read by outlook that's really nice but i was expecting it to go faster maybe it will be but of course you can ask these kind of questions from chat gpt you know it can help you out with it let me ask another question here please help me to create an email to the following email address and then i'm gonna say this is the test email from openai where i would like to check how outlook connector is working with chat gpt so you need to send this email from outlook account which is connected to chat gpt so let me see if it really can without research all right so it cannot unfortunately and in order to do that probably we need to ask uh, deep research to do and here uh, again i have connected my outlook email now let me actually copy this and then again i'm gonna write it here and then i'm gonna say this is the person where i would like to send this email now i'm gonna click send 
Now let's see how it work. But really, I think this is the bottleneck where you are using the research plugin that is very literally time consuming. But I'm going to see whether it have capability of sending mail or not. All right. So here we can see it says email sent successfully. And let me quickly verify that by visiting my Gmail. And seems like that is not the case in real time. I mean, I did not received any email from Outlook. So maybe I think still ChatGPT need to work on this plugin or this could be only with me. So what I would suggest you, if you are excited and want to test this, simply go to apps and here go to productivity and install this plugin. And do let me know if you also face this kind of problem. And I'm pretty sure that this plugin is officially from OpenAI. They will definitely fix it. And that's wrap up this video on this upcoming integration of Outlook with ChatGPT. Hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please make sure you subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And of course, I will be updating you as soon as OpenAI release a new update and fix this issue. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.